Hi, it's Bridget. Good morning and welcome to this episode of Sunday Morning Coffee with Bridget. Mm. We are starting the day surrounded by cozy warm blankets, okay, in, in the bedroom because it is so cold here. Oh yes, it is negative 33 when you include the wind chill, or it's negative, I think, 16 right now. It's very chilly, so the best place to be is cozied up with my comforter. Just put on the thicker, heavier comforter, and it just feels good, nice and soft. And usually, I start my days out doing meditation before I even get out of bed, and then I spend time journaling. Look at my new journal. Woohoo! I'll talk about this on my Fairy Grasshopper channel a little bit. So today, yes, let's be gentle with ourselves as we step into the Sunday morning coffee episode. And let's talk about the topic at hand. So the topic this week is under inspired. And I chose this topic because I felt like there had to be a different term to use instead of uninspired for how I've been feeling. <clears throat> because the truth is, is I've been very focused on my own healing process and journey and doing a lot of inner work and clearing, working with the shadow, dealing with some of the things that I want to change as far as patterns go in my personal relationships. Maybe some of you have felt like that. Have you? Have you felt that energetic support to, to make some changes for yourself by working through some things for yourself? Not externally, not I want to change this, but internally, like I want to change my communications and the way that I, for me personally, it is in working with my, my children my three teen adult children and um, fostering relationship with them where I don't worry so much and I can let them be and let them have their own experiences without having to like manage everything, you know, as a mom. So I never thought I'd be that overprotective or that intensely wound into their well-being even when they got older I thought as they got older I'd be able to let go a bit more well I, I haven't let go as much as I I want to and need to for my own benefit <laughs> let's just be clear I need to let them do their thing so I can do my thing and so I've really been working through this and my three older kids um are in, like I said, they're late um, teens. I have a almost 17 year old, an 18 year old, and uh, in a couple of weeks, a 20 year old. Oh my gosh, I can't possibly be that old. I know you're thinking that, right? And tomorrow's my birthday. Uh -huh. I'm not gonna tell you how old I am. Actually, I, I would. I mean, I, it's not that big a deal, I guess. I'm not 50 yet. I'm closer to 50 than I am 45. <laughs> so there you go <laughs> just make a guess and so I feel like it has been a great time for me to release some of these old patterns that I had with their dad with my divorce and um, some of the old hanging on kind of dysfunction that I had with the divorce time during the divorce time which was like over 10 years ago I mean it was a really long time ago way way back and so it's time to let go of all of that and then reconnect with my kids in a way that um, we are all independent uh, creatures who make our own paths you know chart our own paths so so through this process, I've been dealing with a lot of energy shifts. What I sh I've been sharing very openly with all of you on Fairy Grasshopper, my vlogging channel. But today here on Sunday Morning Coffee, I want to talk about the concept of feeling under-inspired because I think this piece will resonate with many of you. It's not that you're uninspired, because let's be clear, that's like without inspiration. I'm uninspired. I'm not inspired. And I don't believe that's true for any of you. I really don't believe that because you wouldn't be watching something like this. 
some kind of a, a podcast or some kind of content to inspire you. You wouldn't be watching that if you were uninspired. You might be watching that to maybe fill your coffee cup a little more with inspiration. But it, it is existing. It does exist. You're not in a state of undoing inspiration. You already have a little bit of inspiration, at least a tiny little bit because you were inspired to watch this after all, weren't you? Of course you were. And so now we just fill that cup up. So you're reaching out, making a request to the universe to help fulfill that need or desire that you have to become more inspired. Me too, me too, you cheers, cheers. You and I are in the same, same place. So I call this state being under inspired, underneath inspiration. So inspiration is right at the top of that. Now that goes to this kind of beneath deeper work with the shadow and working on our own stuff, our own experiences, our own patterns and things, because inspiration then it exists. It's always there. We are always here, right? But underneath that, underneath that is where we're at maybe, right? We've kind of gone under the inspiration. We've used it as a blanket and hidden underneath it. And we're not actually allowing ourselves to be free and play in that energy of inspiration. We haven't transmuted that inspiration and changed it into something that we can utilize and work with just alchemically, just because of the nature of who we are. So just like with that um, shadow work, you go underneath, you got to go underneath that issue. You got to go underneath that circumstance. You got to go underneath that trigger, whether it's something somebody says online or a political thing or because that's a real common one right now right a political thing or <clears throat> policy or whatever it might be something that you you disagree with that's very contrary to how you feel or believe you got to go underneath that you got to go under that circumstance issue or topic because underneath that that's where the good stuff is that's why treasure is buried my friends it's underneath it's staying safe for when you can dissipate this needless clump of crap and let yourself work with the goodies underneath that, work with the treasures underneath that, right? And so too then being under inspired is, is the energy underneath something, something that you might see as resistance, something that you might see as an issue, a circumstance, a relationship or a life situation like, like a job loss like a health crisis, okay? Hello, can we not all relate to these kinds of things right now? There's a lot, a lot that we can relate to that feels negative, heavy, and it is intense, very trying. It can create a lot of struggle, a lot of stress. So underneath that, there are, you are still there. You are still there, okay? You're just under it. You're under it, okay? You're under it. So when we are under inspired, it means we are in this place where we're not quite ready, in the mood, feeling the vibes to access inspiration, which then usually results in some kind of an action. We're doing something or some kind of a change, like whether it's an action that's a change in our mood, a change in a direction because we get a new idea, or an inspiration to reorganize the kitchen cupboards or something. It, it doesn't have to be anything massive or major. It can be just something normal, natural, very simple. It doesn't have to be monumental. But but I, I've decided that I, the state that I've been in as of late has been being under inspired, specifically when it comes to the above life channel. So I'm going to share this with you guys, you guys who actually enjoy chatting with me and having conversation like with deeper meaning beyond just a, a celebrity guest, you guys are gonna get the, uh, the underneath, like the backstage talk, okay? I have discovered that I haven't really had a lack of inspiration. It's, it's really not, that's not really the best way to describe it as far as above life channel goes, as far as just channeling the celeb celebrity guests. It has been more of a time of being underneath the inspiration because for so long, for two and a half years, there's been so much, a good solid two years, so much constant content I've been creating for above life channel. And 
And most of it has related to specifically channeling after life celebrity guests, many whom I don't really know. And that creates a lot of, you know, inner, uh, inner stressors and challenges for me. And it really stretches me. And, and I, while I can be really here for that right now, and in the middle of 2020, up until here early 2021, I being stretched in that way, mm, I feel like I need to save my energy to be stretched in areas that really matter most to me. Like I said, like my relationships with my kids, for example, at a higher level, at a, at a more beautiful, profound, expanded soul level. And so it's like focus your energy with what matters the most to you. And that's what matters the most to me. <laughs> and so it makes sense that I would be under the energy of inspiration of Above Life Channel because for so long it's been so much a like a wow, you know, I've been, I had for so long created, 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 created. And, and, at some point I had to stop and, and do some kind of reflection and look at, well, where is this going? Like, why am I doing this now? In the beginning, it was to be, to help inspire your spirit, to fill you with hope by connecting with famous people who you would recognize. So this might surprise you, but not everybody wants intuitive information. Not everybody wants to grow and evolve as a spirit. Not everybody's interested in, in their individual personal growth as a soul, as an intuitive being, okay, as an energy being. It might surprise you, but it's true. Um, but people are curious about contacting the afterlife and about spirit as a whole when it comes to people like afterlife celebrity guests. So they help to open the doorway. They allow the curious to come in and have an experience of energy, of connection, of intuition. And then it opens them up potentially to really start to enjoy the energy of connection of, of spiritual connection within themselves. So it's, it's a, a, just an opening into what could be a very wonderful transformative journey for people intuitively. <clears throat> There's such a beautiful relationship to be had with within yourself, with your spirit. You've got to be on your own side. And when we learn or we hear from somebody that we look up to, a celebrity, um, we can, and from the afterlife perspective, we can, we can gain some encouragement, maybe some inspiration to consider things for ourselves, for our life and how things affect us in a different way, in a way that's healthier, that's more uplifting, more positive, more inspired than we maybe had before we listened to that interview. So it was something that I really, I felt like um, the work that I had done with Prince in the afterlife was so um, uplifting for so many people. And I got so many great friends from that experience too, like true friends, like people that like me <laughs> as a person, not just as a psychic. And <clears throat> who I like, people who I think are just wonderful. Like I have like best friends for life because of that experience in channeling. And I thought, wow, if this can bring a connection to somebody like me, who I'm very picky about my friendships and such. I mean, maybe you're like that too. I'm like super, in, it's gonna might surprise you, but introverted when it comes to friendships and things and making new friends and stuff. I'm really guarded like that because it feels like people just want to be your friend because you're psychic. You know, I've had that experience many times. And uh, so the experience I had because of Prince, he was able to connect me with community of, of some really beautiful people. And if you are a PRD, Purple Raindrop, you know how much I love you. <laughs> you know how much I love you. I just got a birthday present last week from one of you. <laughs> Thank you so much for that too, sweetheart. I appreciate it. And so see, look at how inspired I am. I'm happy. I feel joyful. I feel blissful in that connection. And I really want that kind of connection, opportunity, community, for for you if that's something that you want and you might not even know you're missing it and so i thought above life channel was a way that i would begin along this process this road and it, it really it really connects into my purpose i've been doing spiritual and psychic work i've been a certified life coach since 2006. i've been doing spiritual psychic work i started as a medium in 2004. so you do the math <laughs> 
It's been a long time, over a decade, and both those things as a life coach and as a medium and as a psychic, right? Psychic medium. And so I've all I have been connected to my purpose for a very long time. And it's always been to inspire your spirit. And um, although many iterations of taglines and focus um, inspire this, inspire your spirit to be who you're created to be, that's always been a core foundation. In fact, I have, and I should post it on Instagram, I have this big piece of tag board, hot pink paper that back in like 2013, I wrote out when you're like going through like the businessy stuff and the creative business stuff. I was taking a creative business class and I wrote out my, my mission and it was so beautiful. It makes me feel emotional just feeling the energy of it. Hot pink paper with big black marker. And I was getting ready for an expo, an event. I was um, speaking at, at an event and um, as, you know, psychic medium where I'd come in and I'd channel and I'd connect with archangels and, and have a conversation with people and give them an experience. And then I would do question and answer for mediumship. <clears throat> or for psychic stuff too. Not it was. It's really fun to do that kind. Of, oh, I have to turn my throat, you guys. <clears throat> it's really fun to do that in groups. It really is like in a big room full of people. Oh my goodness! It works on Zoom too. I've been doing. I've been doing um, my psychic work in a small group on Zoom too. It does work. It works pretty fantastic, actually. Well, for me and for the people that I at least. For the people that I've been working with, um, it's worked really well for them too, you know, but they're already kind of intuitive anyway. They're a little down the path already. <laughs> so anyway, so I wrote, um, I was making posters for my, 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 um, my, my speaking thing, you know, I was making some posters and positive stuff and I tore off a piece of paper and I wrote this mission statement on it and it's beautiful and it's about community. It's about having connection and relationship to our spirit, working together, like being with others, not just like-minded, like-hearted. It was heartfelt connections, heartfelt connections as we learn, grow, and deepen our relationship to our spirit, our spirit, my spirit, me, my spirit, you, your spirit, that spirit, not spirit of um, deceased loved ones, not spirit of famous people, not spirit of, of your spirit guides, but you as your spirit guide, you as someone, as a spirit, as a soul, energetic, worthy of getting to know and being in relationship with. <clears throat> and not just worthy of, but like a master, you are a master of your own soul. But you have no consciousness of this until you wake up your connection until you're shown until you have different experiences maybe like watching a video with your favorite person that has been channeled prince freddie mercury david bowie marilyn monroe stephen hawking he's my new favorite right now you guys oh my gosh love him there's going to be more from him just watch and see so i have felt under inspired because i felt like the inspiration's here and it's so big and it has a life of its own, but I'm not feeling it. I'm not, I'm not out in front of it or even beside it. I'm underneath it. And so it's like, how can I connect to that inspiration? How can I connect in a new way, a renewed, renewed way to what is inspiring me? And how can I source that in to this energy of what, this is whether it's a circumstance situation relationship for you or a project for you and so i am feeling that that underneath piece i don't feel um crushed by it i don't feel suffocated by it it's just simply an energy awareness that i have it's like its own thing now above of channels its own thing and so how can i reconnect with above life channel how can i work with it in a way that reflects who i am and the mission desire dreams that i have so that you can connect more authentically with me and i can then connect more authentically with you as an individual viewer because i feel you as individuals like you guys look like little lights on a light grid and you light up as a whole and the more lights there are the happier i feel 
And thank you, by the way. I just got a beautiful email. I'm going to do a video about that the other day and from someone who was battling cancer and who was in palliative care and just gave me such a, was exactly what I needed at the moment, exactly what I needed to give me inspiration to help me to feel connected to that purpose, to understand that Above Life Channel does have purpose in a way that I can't possibly comprehend. And so too then, if you are feeling under-inspired in any way, stuff you used to love to do, just doesn't have that inspiration anymore, maybe you just need a break. Maybe if you're an artist and you always paint this certain way and you do this certain thing and you have these orders and you've been doing it, just kind of because you're fulfilling orders or that kind of a thing and it's gotten, it's lost its luster for you. Maybe you just need a break. Maybe you need to add something different into that process. Maybe you need to connect differently to the energy that you're using to create, to show up. Maybe it's not that project's fault or issue. Maybe that's just the thing, the the thing here and you're underneath that. So you have to give yourself some time and some permission to step back, to go inside, to reflect, to bring forward a new meaning, a renewed meaning, a renewed meaning. Right now, because of the times that we're in, it's, it's really common not to feel all that interested in things. It's okay to be under-inspired. It's okay to be mellow. It's okay to feel a little flat. It's okay. That is totally okay. I have felt like that. I'd rather feel a little flat than super down in the dumps. And I've been there too, let me tell you, in the last few months. And it's just natural. This is, we are in a natural state of becoming. We are. Of becoming inspired. Here's to inspiration, my friends, here on Sunday Morning Coffee. Here's cheers to you for being here, for being part of Sunday Morning Coffee, which is a way that I un- was feeling underinspired, that I reconnected to Above Life Channel to viewers like you, sharing my spirit with you and your spirit. See, doesn't that feel good? Oh, see this kind of intimate connection? I love this, this feels good. I don't wanna spill coffee all over my blanket. I think I just splattered some. Oh, well, it's purple. You won't see it. (laughs) Shh, don't tell my husband. All right. Thanks so much for being here on this unique episode. This, let's call this the cozy episode. (laughs) <laughs> of Sunday morning coffee with Bridget. This is Above Life Channel. I hope I've inspired your spirit and filled you with some hope. This is all about encouragement to live your life. It's your life after all. This is yours. So live it. Just live it. Be sure to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any of the cool new videos as I'm becoming, as I'm reconnecting with my inspiration for Above Life Channel. So you're going to get some good channeling videos in the future. And by good, I mean infused with inspiration, infused with wisdom that will hopefully encourage and inspire your spirit. Mm. Great. Okay, I need a refresh. I need a refill. (laughs) Have a great day. Have a great week, everyone. Thanks for watching.